How much for four pounds at 150 a pound? Multiply with decimals, yeah, that's how. How much is 10, 10 an hour at three hours a day? Finding the product is the way. You gotta multiply the decimals, that's what's up. And what do you get? The product. Just multiply the decimals, that's what's up. And what do you get? The product. Multiplying decimals can seem complicated, but these strategies hopefully will make it not so hard to get the job done when you're working on solving math problems. Here's a whole number and a decimal to work with. Two times 0 0.03 or three hundredths. Say it either way, they're both the same. When you model it with words, you'll use this name. Six hundredths or 0 0.06 is what you get. You can model this on a number line to solve it. It looks kind of tricky, but let's give it a try. Move up 300 notches two times. But what if both factors are decimal? Don't freak out, there's a way to solve that too. So if 0.7 times 0.4 is what they're asking, first we could convert them both to fractions. 7 tenths times 4 tenths. And we can write that like this. Multiply and you get 28 hundredths or convert the product to a decimal if you want it. And that number would be 0.28. No sweat, right? A piece of cake. I said that number would be 0.28. No sweat, right? A piece of cake. How much for four pounds at 150 a pound? Multiply with decimals. Yeah, that's how. How much is 10, 10 an hour at three hours a day? Finding the product is the way. You gotta multiply the decimals. That's what's up. And what do you get? The product. Just multiply the decimals. That's what's up. And what do you get? The product. Problems ain't a problem if you know how to solve them. Use what you know about powers of 10. Take 5.12 times 3.1. In just three steps, we can get it done. Step one, estimate an educated guess about five times three is what the product is or should be making it close to 15. The guess isn't exact, but close to what it'll be. Step two, stack the numbers to multiply. Take the points away, move them over to the right. It's important, don't line up the depth decimals multiply to get one five eight seven two step three okay i know i said take them out but put the decimal point back in after you count how many digits are before the point in the factor this is the last step in finding the answer with 5.12 and 3.1 we need three decimal places in the product we end up with 15.872 close to our estimate that's how we do how much for four pounds at 150 a pound Multiply with decimals, yeah, that's how. How much is 10, 10 an hour at three hours a day? Finding the product is the way. You gotta multiply the decimals, that's what's up. And what do you get? The product. Just multiply the decimals, that's what's up. And what do you get? The product. And this works because when we move the decimals right then left, we're basically multiplying by a power of 10 and then dividing by it again. 